This is the part two in a uh, little three-part series here about how I make a thousand bucks a month, right? So if you watch part one, if you haven't, go back and watch it now. And uh, if you fully watched part one, by now you have your product, right? For me, it's always couches or <clears throat> love seats, sectionals, all that kind of stuff. And what you want to do now is sell it, right? So you're literally going to post it back to the same website that you got it for free on. And for me, that's always Facebook Marketplace. So open up Facebook. And I'll just do a brief overview of how all this goes here. But open up Facebook here. And um, you're going to go to Facebook Marketplace. And Facebook does a great job at spelling out, you know, how to post your items. So you're literally just going to hit, what are you listing? Items for sale. If it's a product or anything like that, it's items for sale. You're going to add a photo. This is just a stock pick. But if you actually had your product, make sure to walk around it and take pictures from all angles. Um, you should have like five to seven photos um, on here just to show your customers what they're actually looking at here. Uh, what are you selling, right? Keep this as simple as possible. Um, this is what people are going to search to get a bunch of results, right? So if you put the serial number or the make and the model, people are going to have to search the make, the model, and the serial number just to find your item, right? So keep it simple. Couch. Price. I price it out by seeing what they sell for new, right? Which is usually a thousand plus, brand new. And then I deduct from that. So if they've had it for seven to 10 years or there's a couple stains or there's a few rips, I bring it down from there. And if you do it how I do it, you're getting it for free, right? I could literally post these things for a buck, you know, and still make 100% profit. So it's a win-win here, right? So be fair. Um, so I'd say if I actually had something like this that looked like this, that was, you know, stain free but used, I would say 450. Um, and from there, they, they just had an update on Facebook where you can actually list like what your price is basically. So if it's negotiable or firm, but you don't have to fill that out. Uh, select a category, that's furniture. Location will already be preset. And then just a quick description, right? So this, you're gonna wanna put, you know, the color um, of the couch. Um, what's it's made of oddly enough people ask that all the time um what's it made of um you know you're gonna want the i won't list them all up but you're gonna want you know the dimensions of it um you just put an x for that you're gonna want to add if there's any rips or tears anything like that um you know any stains or anything like that um and be honest, right? Like there's nothing more awkward than getting there and the product sucks or it's not what the buyer thought it was. Um, so if they know upfront, you know, we can work with that. Um, and then from there, if it's a couch, right? Now this depends on what product you're selling, the description obviously, but if it's a couch, make sure you add if it's from a non-smoking and pet-free home, right? People are gonna ask that uh, like there's no tomorrow. So make sure to definitely include that in there. And then of course, you know, say for me, I always offer shipping, you know, uh, you can even list it right down here. So offer shipping for this item. You're gonna want to click that on, and that's literally it. And then the cool thing is you hit just hit next, and that first button is Facebook Marketplace here. And then you can also put it to your profile, which I never do because Marketplace is like the spot to be right now. But if you're in, the cool thing about Facebook is if you're in any other groups, you can post it to those groups. So for me, it's like the weirdest groups ever, like 603 Sales or Real Men's Garage and Massachusetts Marketplace, right? And then from there, you just hit post. And that'll take a few seconds to go. And, and once it's on, you're on your page and, and you're off and running. So now people can start to view your post. And you're going to be able to see how many people view your post. You're going to be able to interact with the people that actually message you. Um, Facebook rates you on how fast you can reply. And they post that publicly for people to see. So it'll, it'll give you on a percent a scale, like, like a graded scale. Um, mine right now is like 78% something like that it's and they judge that by how many hours it takes you to get back my response rate is like two hours something like that um, and once it's up it'll look like this right and once it's sold you can mark it sold if it's not selling you can actually lower the price um, and that's really as simple as that now once you post it right and you get a buyer I will show you exactly how to handle that situation.